Our guest has racing in his blood. His father raced touring and sports cars, and he himself started competing at the age 10. But this weekend, he'll be zooming around Texas Motor Speedway in the Firestone 600. Welcome Verizon IndyCar Series driver, Sebastian Bourdais. Hello. Hey. Good morning. I was just telling him I'm going to change my name to Sebastian Bourdais Jr. <laughs> so I can... Would it not be like, the other way around? No, I'll be your junior. You got it first. <laughs> so, so, Sebastian, you're, yeah, you're kind of a big deal. I don't know. I feel very small right now. When I look at myself, <laughs> I'm really feeling very tiny. Well, I tell you, I was asking earlier, did you have a car that I could actually fit in? Now that I look at that picture, I'm not sure anymore. Yeah, yeah. I would need it. They said a two-seater, but I'm thinking more like a three-seater. <laughs> yeah. Put me in the back and let me drive from the back. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be all right. We'll find you a seat. Well, it's exciting, man. Texas Motor Speedway. Um, what what is what is it like for you? Is it you know you 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 race these street races and now you're on a track. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference? Like what's the feeling going into track racing as opposed to? All right, you take a ball, right, and you get cars going 220 miles an hour with high banking, <laughs> in the heat, the wind. <laughs> Some and people screaming, that. and you got it. Wow. I think it would be, wow. it seems like it would be boring compared to like the Le Mans uh, race, <laughs> you know, where you're racing over. I don't know. You think you can get bored at 220? Uh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it gets your attention pretty good. How fast good. are you going, though, on a, on a different sort of race, like at Le Mans? Uh, well, the Le Mans track is one of the very few road courses where you actually have the top speeds close to you know, Indy wow. car speeds because the straights are very long and so you know, the downfalls on the car is pretty limited. So you, you get close to 220 as well. How often do you have something really scary happen where you feel like you're losing control of the vehicle? Uh, well, usually at that speed when it goes wrong, it's over before you even realize it's coming that's your scary. way. Yeah, well, you know, it's part of it, but that's the thrill. Just it, it, control is kind of junkie, aren't you? I, well, I, you know, control <laughs> yeah. is kind of an illusion at, at these kind of speeds. You know, you you think you got it, but when it gets away from you, that's that's when it goes bad pretty quick. That's so so, so you know, I'm from Louisiana, but always had my eye on Texas. You grew up in Le Mans, mm -hmm. right? So racing was, was that it? Is, like, is that like the end all be all to what you do as a young kid? No, actually no. Um, but uh, my dad was racing, you know, before I was born and then I grew up on racetrack and I got a first motorcycle that was three years old and you know, kind a of. A motorcycle? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I dad was, kind wow. of pushed you a little bit to do well, you enjoy what he enjoyed, or it's just no? Of? Actually, he, he he really wanted to get motorcycles, and his dad didn't want. So then I guess I got the you motorcycle he's always <laughs> wanted. And then after that, I bugged him for a long time to go go kart racing, and then he kind of tested my, you know, wish, I guess. What and, does your uh, wife think about your career? Uh, well, she they, met they me. Always ask those type of questions. You know, well, she I'm she asked because it's, it's you, I mean, every time you go to work, you could die. Well, that's when we're yeah. looking at it, I guess. But, uh, you know, if you live like that, you can die crossing the street. That's so, true. you know, I mean, you just, it's your job. And, and you know, obviously, um, you know, fatalities are thankfully a lot less than they used to be. So right. we don't really think about it so much. But um, she met me when I was already racing, and it was part of the deal. So, you know, it's what it is, pretty much. I love it. I love it. There you have it. There you have it. Again, the Firestone, Firestone 600 happens this Saturday at Texas Motor Speedway. All the information on your screen, and of course, it's on our website as well. Just head to the broadcasttv.com and click on today's links. I'm going to go see this thing. I hope so. Because I feel you the need a, for speed you now, a Sebastian. Nice car to go watch. Okay. You know, I want to know what your pre game is. <laughs> one of my team like. owners is also uh, from the area, so ah. it's a big race for us. Let's get out on the track. It'll be All fun. Right. Uh, coming up next, we'll meet Big Springs native Mark McKinney as he performs his unique style of country music in our broadcast music cafe. Don't go anywhere.